Hey, how's it going? I'm Ira Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, I'm sure you've all noticed that the hair has changed. <laughs> um, my original plan was, oh, okay, so I hadn't originally planned to get my hair cut during the week that has just gone, um, but then lockdown, <laughs> lockdown two was announced. Um, so I kind of brought my plans uh, forward by a week because, um, as, as I've mentioned before, um, just the level of pain that I've been getting from putting my hair up all the time, um, you know, it was something, uh, so I, I originally filmed a version of this with a pre-haircut bit, but unfortunately the video got corrupted. <laughs> um, but in that I explained that it's not just like this little bit of, although this little bit of my, my head since my hair has been cut has like very slowly started to stop feeling quite so swollen and it's amazing just how swollen it, swollen it had felt before. It's not nowhere near as noticeable as it was, which is, I guess, proof that I, I needed to get like the weight off of it and the stress off of it and the strain off of it and, and, and whatever else. Um, but yeah, um, I originally, when I filmed the sort of pre-haircut bit of this on um, Wednesday, and Wednesday was when I actually got my hair cut, um, I mentioned that although that that part was the worst part, actually most of my scalp, when I, I, when I really get down to it and when I sort of put any sort of pressure on it, has been quite sore for a while, so hopefully this will help sort that soreness out. Um, but yeah, no, no, I originally I hadn't planned to just come in with a, hey, my hair's cut video. I, I had sort of planned to do it a bit like I'd done the previous hair change reveal. Um, I would like a bit more of an explanation and kind of making it more the point of the vlog. So this week's vlog was going to be the haircut vlog. Um, and then the video corrupted. It was so annoying. It was so annoying. Um, so yeah, now you're getting a hey, I've cut my hair. What do you think? Like? <laughs> I like. <laughs> I mean, I'm still because it's it's only because it's Sunday now, and I got it done on Wednesday. So I'm still in that phase of kind of getting used to it. Um, but there are definitely definitely things that I discovered that I quite like about it already. Uh, the fact that I don't need to keep it wrapped in a towel after I've washed it is great. I can literally like towel dry it to the point where it's not dripping anymore and then just leave it. <laughs> and I'm serious, I'm just like, I'm just leaving it uh, and then letting it dry in whatever position that it wants to sort of dry in. Um, and then obviously I'm sort of like messing about with it a lot. So it does sort of like move and shift and um, realign itself quite a bit during the day. But um, I've not, I put a brush to it, I think on the Wednesday, just to sort of see if that made any sort of difference to how it was, was lying or, and how it was feeling. Um, but I've not actually been anywhere near it with a brush since then. I just have kind of just let it do what it wants to do. It's not getting tangled. It doesn't look like a mess. It just, it, it's kind of got that nice, like, scruffy but not scruffiness to it. Um, it just sort of, like, does what it wants to do, and I like it just doing what it wants to do. I think the thing I mess about with the most is, like, kind of the fringe and the positioning of the fringe and, like, different moves. I'm, like, having the fringe in slightly different positions. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I also love, like, the way it feels, like, when I do this. I just love that sort of... I know what it is. I just like the way it feels when I'm sort of doing that, so yeah, I'm very happy with it at the moment, <laughs> in case you can't tell, <laughs> which is kind of good because it is like so short um, compared to what I had before, when what I had before was like kind of hairish, so it grown out a little bit, and I'm, I'm, I'm a fringe, I'm a fringe person, I'm definitely a fringe person, and this is like one of the best 
best looking fringes that I've had and the fact that I can sort of like, you know, style it a little bit like that. Uh, a bit. Style it a little bit like that or have it like pull it across or like, I can like play around with the fringe and get the fringe looking um, in whatever, as I said, whatever way my mood is sort of like going in that moment in time. So yeah, it's, it's not taking me that long to kind of get used to like the length of it, although I'm still like, like getting a, like a phantom hair feeling which is starting to sort of starting to sort of like go now as I'm sort of like getting used to like how the hair sits and how the hair sort of feels in like it's it's short length but like definitely the first few mornings it felt like I had my hair up um like the way my hair was actually put up um but obviously it's it's not <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, there's not enough of it to put up there really isn't enough of it to put up it's great <laughs> Um, but yeah, so as I said, my original plan for the vlog for this week was to do a before and after bit. Um, and I was also going to include an after hair dyeing bit and that's what made it kind of corrupt. So what I kind of done is there is a, like for the video camera thing, uh, camera program that I, I use for recording these, um, you have the option to pause recording and because it would, it, it's always easier to edit one video um it's easier for me to, to to have edited it as one complete video rather than several shorter videos which is how I did the previous one um I paused it and it was fine from the initial pause to doing the oh I've just gone back from having my hair cut uh the next stage is dyeing it um and it was fine up until I came to record the the post failed dying attempt um, at which point the program crashed and that's how I lost the the video recording um, as you can see my hair hasn't really been dyed there's a little bit of a blue, blue hue to it in like certain lights which is is kind of weird but it's not the blue color that I was initially planning to go um, that was partly because um, I didn't realise when I ordered it, uh, but the hair dye that I actually ordered was one of those where you have to like mix it up in a in a pot rather than like having a nice easy bottle thing. And the instructions, I couldn't find the English instructions on the thing at all. Um, so I was just kind of winging it. So I entirely believe that it was my fault that it didn't work properly. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm at that kind of... Uh, I, I don't mind the colour it is at the moment and the whole point of going blue is to celebrate uh, releasing No Door Loud in December anyway. So you know what, it makes sense for, for me to wait till December and probably after a second haircut. Um, well, my, my first haircut with uh, this length, basically. Because um, obviously it's going to be, well, like I think it's December 2nd when hairdressing and stuff are going to reopen. Um, which will be like about a month um, from having it cut initially and I don't know I've never had my hair short had my hair this short before so I don't know if I want would want to wait a little bit longer like if it's like six weeks or if four weeks is probably about as long as I would want to push it before getting it cut again um, but either way after I get it cut for the second time, um, when I, you know, get it trimmed in and put back into the nice neat, neat, neatness, um, that is when I will get some hair dye, blue hair dye from, um, from Sainsbury's rather than ordering it online because I know the make that they have. It's not, I mean, it's a darker colour than what I was wanting to go. That's why I did order the one that I saw online. Um, but you know what? It's blue for Orion. Doesn't really matter as long as it's blue. <laughs> it does. It doesn't really matter as long as it's blue. Um, so yeah, my my plan is um, after I I have my first hair trim haircut um, or my next haircut um, is to then get the blue dye and dye it blue at that point. Hopefully it will work that time. Um, and it makes a bit more sense because December is when um, No Doors is No Doors Allowed is should hopefully be releasing. Um, so it makes more sense to kind of you know wait and do it next month than um, to do it now just because 
just because of lockdown, um, it was more important, I think, that I got the hair cut. I like it. I do. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I can sort of say about the hair stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure like how interesting this one is compared to what it could have been if I'd had like the you know the planned steps that were going to happen and certainly if like my hair had actually dyed like the colour that I wanted it to. And as I said, like in certain lights it has like this really cool sort of turquoisey blue sheen to it, but it's like it's like I can't get it to capture on camera properly. <laughs> Like, no matter how hard I try, it doesn't seem to capture on camera properly. Um, so I can't even, like, take a photograph of it. Like, the best one, like, if I'm, like, I'm in the kitchen, um, and it's, like, of an evening, so I've got the light on, so you get, like, that reflection in the window mirror. My hair looks blue! <laughs> <laughs> like, no, not, like, proper, proper blue, but it definitely looks, like, blue compared to what it looked like in this light, like, most of the time. So there is definitely, it's definitely done something, it just hasn't, it hasn't actually dyed it properly. So yeah, that's, that's going to be the plan. I'm going to get it recut in December. And then once I've had like the recut, uh, when I say recut, you know what I mean? Yeah, get like it, like, cause it's going to grow. I'm going to get tidied up in December. <laughs> <laughs> from from all the growing it's going to do between now and the end of lockdown two, uh, which I'm, I'm hopeful will just be the month that we've been told it's going to be. Um, yeah, as soon as the hairdressers are open again, I will get it cut back into into uh, into cut into size into length. Cut back into length. <laughs> I can't word today. Yay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get it cut back into length, um, and then I'm going to dye it blue for Orion for No Doors Allowed. Um, so that's, that's my plan with my hair going forward. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, I don't know what else to say for this one. Um, I've definitely been talking long enough to make this a video, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I know it's been a little bit babbly and all over the place and back and forth. And, um, and I apologize again for just kind of springing the hair. I mean, I, I warned you guys a haircut was coming. So it's not like I hadn't warned you guys a haircut was coming. Um, but yeah, sorry for like not like doing the proper trans um, transformation thing that I'd done with the previous haircut, which I had planned to do, but it just failed. It just seriously failed. Um, so I apologise that this is not the vlog that I wanted it to be, um, but it's it's a vlog that it is. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have found this one sort of interesting. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is I'm talking about next time, um, which will almost definitely be back to book stuff at this point, to be honest with you, um, because I am, you know, in preparation for getting uh, no, doors out, no Doors Allowed out there, so there's probably going to be lots of talking about all of that stuff again, um, just because you guys know what I'm like, and I will see you guys next time. See ya! <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!